If you're looking to make date night extra special, well, you are in for a treat. I have three meals right here that are definitely going to make whomever is your date <laughs> to really be blown away. And the date could also just be you. Whichever person it is that you're throwing down for, these three meals will definitely knock it out of the park. Let's get into today's episode on Miss Mandy Throwdown. To those of you who've just stumbled onto my channel or are new here, first of all, let me say welcome to the Throwdown Lover Squad. Also, I do want to say that since you're here, you might as well just check out the other playlist. I'm a very adventurous foodie. I like to teach about food, eating it, and all that other fun stuff in between. There's tons of playlists. So after this episode, you know you need to check out the other episodes. Anyway, enough about all of that. Let's get into today's episode where it's about to be very epic. Let's start things off with the appetizer. Now for our appetizer, we are doing like a little twist to potato bravas. If you do not know what that is, it's just simply crispy potatoes with a nice spicy cumin sauce on the side. So we're just giving it a little va va -voom. We have some baby potatoes over here. We have half of some red bell peppers. We have one chili. It's a very, very mild chili. Two cloves of garlic, a little bit of cumin seeds and white onion. Please do not skip on the white onion. You need it. Anyway, let's get to the stove and get to cooking. We're gonna start things off by boiling our potatoes until they're extremely fork tender. While that's going, we're gonna throw everything into our other pot, which is the red bell peppers, the chilies, and the onion as well. So we're only using half of the onion. We're also drizzling in some olive oil and we're gonna be adding in a pinch of salt as well. We've gone ahead to add in the cumin in here and just like let it bloom for a little bit. We've turned off the heat, we're about to blend that. In the meantime though, our potatoes are definitely ready to fork tender. Perfection. We're gonna take out this water and drain it. Take a jar or a glass and just smash the potatoes. You don't wanna completely flatten them just like so. We're gonna turn back on the heat and we're just gonna drizzle in about two tablespoons of olive oil and then just let these cook until crispy. We're just gonna be hitting them with a little bit of salt. If you want to add some black pepper, go right ahead, but less is always more when it comes to these potatoes. So we're gonna let them do their magic and we're gonna grab our sauce to blend. We're going to be blending this. I don't mind my consistency to be chunky, so if you want it smoother, blend it some more, but as of right now, it's looking a beautiful. Get back into the same uh, pan where it was all roasting, just to kind of just adjust the flavor if need be. And by adjust, I'm talking about adding either salt or pepper or no salt at all, and also just to keep the sauce warm. Checking on our potatoes, as you can see, they've started to get crispy. Now that our appetizer is done, let's get into our main, which is pasta, chicken, tomato -y. Oh my God, first, a quick rundown of our ingredients. We have some linguine that we're using here. You can use ordinary spaghetti, it's perfectly okay. We have some minced garlic, oregano, chili flakes, one egg, corn flour, breadcrumbs. We have a can of plum tomatoes here, which we've gone ahead to blend until smooth. And we have two titties, two chicken titties. So let's get into it. We're gonna be adding in about two to three cups of water boiling hot water we're gonna season it with salt and once we've added in the salt it's come to a boil we're just adding in the linguine we're not gonna break it apart the magic's gonna happen in our other pan we're adding in about two tablespoons of olive oil we're adding in our minced garlic we are cooking until the garlic until it's fragrant so you can smell it in the air we're adding in our oregano chili flakes Finally, we're adding in our tomatoes. A 
pinch of salt. Also adding in just a little bit of sugar. And we're just gonna leave this to come to a simmer. This is one thick titty. We're just gonna go ahead and cut it like so to butterfly it. That way it can cook perfectly and evenly. Anything that's excess, I'm just gonna trim this off. So we're setting up our drenching lineup. Okay, we're gonna start things off by seasoning our chicken. You guys know this is a very important step. We're just seasoning it with salt and pepper on each side. Just gonna pat it in. Take our chicken titty, place it here. Now this is corn flour. You can use all-purpose flour as well. Just ensure to season it. I seasoned it with just a little bit of salt. Now ensure every nook and cranny of this chicken titty is covered with the corn flour or the flour of your choice. You can also use oat flour as well. Gonna shake off the excess. Gonna place it into our egg mixture. And finally, onto the breadcrumbs. Ensure it's well coated. And now onto the pan. Just gonna place this in here. Both sides nice and crispy. We're gonna take this out to rest and then fry up the next one. That's the kind of crispy you wanna hear. Our pasta has boiled until al dente. And you know the drill, I always scoop out any pasta water save that to help thicken things loosen things it's very important if you have not seen this tip please watch my latest video it's popped up on the screen now our pasta is already good to go we're just going to drain it and of course run it under some cold water so it can stop cooking so we drained our pasta and ran it under cold water i'm just adding just a little bit of this pasta water so it doesn't of course burn at the bottom of the pan and i'm scooping out some of the sauce to add it here so we're just gonna toss this together with the sauce and let it get warm before we can serve up our plate. The best part of my job is I pretty much master date, right? <laughs> it's kind of like I take myself out on dates, but with my own food. <laughs> now, let's get into tasting the meals. Starting, I should start with the appetizer first, but I'm just gonna break the rules. Look at that moist chicken! I mean, I mean, that is absolutely delicious. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. On to the starter. Period. This is how you start a party with, like, this is such a great appetizer. And the sauce is like, not even spicy it's just the right balance the cumin is oh my god the roasted garlic is just as delicious oh my goodness this is the kind of master dating i need hmm. and now onto our final dessert our slices of pineapple with ice cream i'm so good at this oh. And this is such an elite combo. Oh my god. Mm. 
If you are gonna throw these down, these meals down for date night, you need to tag me. Hashtag is Miss Mandy Throwdown. Listen, I really, really wanna take your date nights to a whole other level. Maybe you can leave for me a comment down below and let me know what you like to eat or cook during date night. I'm really curious. In the meantime though, thank you so much for all the support. <laughs> We're still on the road to 100K. We're almost there though. If you've not subscribed, go ahead and do that. It's, I'll give you a moment. Apart from that, I need you to like this video and please share this with someone. You could even share it with your bae who you want to cook for you. In the meantime though, stay eating delicious.